G'day guys, I'm out on the Parramatta River today trying to chase some brim and flat skulls. It's a good day, it's a nice summer's day, really warm. I'm gonna give it a go around this, this place first, maybe work around, you know, the banks. The sun's up high. There's a little bit of structure behind me as well. So we'll see how that goes. Stick around. around it bit of a rock out there rocky outcrop anybody home all right big long cast so I haven't detected anything just yet around that rock there we go something came up something came up and it wasn't no, not those two puffers guys there was something behind it something that looked pretty nice probably had about half a dozen casts around this rock so far for not a hit, but I've seen plenty of jelly prawns. Yeah, walk around this side, one more cast around that end. Try on this side, that side. See there, there's a bit of a flash. It doesn't look like mullet. It was chasing the lure. Sometimes it's just about persevering, but if you, if you keep casting in the same spot too many times, obviously they're gonna wise up to it and they're not gonna hit it. But it doesn't hurt to have a go. Yeah, nothing, nothing behind it. I can, I'm just watching it. Yeah, there we go. Let's move on. But yeah, some signs of fish. Some signs of fish all along the side here. There's plenty of bait. I had a go. What's that? A little bit of a shadow there. Try, try out just there. I mean, it's real shallow, but that's a fish. No. I'm seeing things guys, <laughs> that little black thing there, not a fish. It wasn't moving when I cast, so kind of had a feeling it wasn't. Just cast along the bank there, too close. Feeling like a wonderful day. It's a bit of wind, a bit of chop on the water, but it's not severe, it's real nice. Yeah, weird, not out wide, there's like no hits out wide here. Just cast out there against the side. There's enough depth. Just walking and prospecting. Saw one little brim have a go. <laughs> right, coming up to this ladder. Flick that out. And I got a, got a tree, guys. Skip it under there. Look at all the jellyfish washed up. Look at all that. Anyway, guys, we've been doing this for a little while now. I'm gonna move around, try a canal nearby and see if our luck changes. Been pushing around here, persisting for about half an hour. Um, maybe a couple of bites, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet. So change of, change of plan. So on the walk back guys, can't believe this jetty, nothing, nothing. And behind it, that jetty there, so that jetty there, nothing again. Now if you remember we did get some hits around the rock, a bit of structure, but other than that, it's been quiet. So getting on my bike, getting on the proverbial bike. <laughs> you know what I didn't say that I wasn't gonna flick on the way there there's that glorious canal in the distance there that's the mouth bit of rock I'm gonna try that rock it's all I've been getting hits around try these rocks let's fling one out that way so now we're in the canal proper I've had a few casts a couple under the bridge no hit still still looking for these fish where are they? It's going over the bridge now. Came from that side. I'm gonna try and cross. I'm gonna try cross on this side, guys. Look at that. Extends for a long, long way. 
Right guys, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be using that thing, Eco Gear Brimmer Vibe. Not really tried it in the canal, so hoping it works. Now while I crack this bad boy open, um, normally I use blades in the winter. You get plenty of Brimmer whiting and all kinds of bycatch, big and small, because the hooks on these trailing hooks are just really tiny. Um, but, you know, not having any luck on the plastic, I want to try something a little bit different. So, that is what we're going to give a go. Looks fantastic. Right guys, so how do these work? When you pull them through the water, it vibrates in a vertical position like this. But I guess it's tilted because obviously you're casting it and it's lagging behind uh, obviously because you're casting it and it's coming this way as you pull it so it's going to be vibrating at that kind of an angle yeah pretty cool just a this one's a piece of plastic but most blades are made out of metal same same concept when i use blades i really like it when they've got stinger hooks which are those really long um singles on the back really small singles with a bit of a skirt thing going. Now you can just like literally just slow roll it. I like to buzz them though, but I'm in a canal at the moment, so I might just be more bit more be, be a bit be a little bit more subtle. Oh yes, look at that, that looks amazing. That looks real good. Alright, there's a little bit right there. Seeing me, won't catch him. But, you know, I'll just try anyway, because I'm stubborn, so wind it, yeah, no follow yet. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cast along the edge as I've been doing. One brim means more brim. Wow, some big brim right there. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of brim coming down the canal right now. Oh, there's a brim floating out there. Come on, man. What's going on? How can I not hook up? Oh, there's so many here. There's so many guys. There are so many brim. I've just counted like seven. Seven brim that would give this gear a little bit of a run. There we go, on. We're on, we can come to the edge now. I want to stand back. I wasn't having any luck. Look at that. Whiting! Whiting! I gave, uh, guys, I only gave you a choice between brim and flat skull. But we got a whiting! Woohoo! Tiny guy, but hey, off a donut. Off a very doughy donut. There you go, buddy. Like I said, you get plenty of nice uh, whiting off blades. They love it. They got tiny mouths, so they just suck in those little trailer hooks. Let's get you sorted buddy <laughs> there we go better shot a little whiting and you know what guys what's this that right there are these wild shrooms <laughs> oh no <laughs> they're definitely following it all right so the brim are definitely following it it's working a bit slower than what i've been doing they don't like it when it's paused they watch for about a few seconds and then they're, they're, they're pretty much like done so maybe if i just twitch along the bottom and just wind real slow like real slow we've gone quite far up now real deep part of this canal there we go on on to a little brimmy little brimmy little brimmy around the corner there's a bit of a trap there oh just in front of that little trap guys a little brimbo this is only my second fish Feels like I've been out here for 10 hours. There we go guys, a little Brembo. Canal Brembo. Eco gear, eco gear Brembo vibe. 
That's what it was designed for. It's sorting mounts. Wow, check that out, guys. Big red crab. Maybe I should be throwing cranker crabs in here. That's even bigger than the cranker crab that I normally use down here. It's a red color. Gotta keep that in mind, guys. Oh, yes, on the cast. Pulled that one. Unfortunately, guys. Let's just check that leader, make sure it's not a tailor. So I'm gonna lose these vibes. It wasn't. It wasn't um, chafed, I mean, it could have been a tailor, could have been a brim. Usually when you get hit right away, I call it tailor. But it's happened with brim. All right, so a bit of an exciting moment there. Didn't, didn't get it though. Just getting that vibration through this murky water. That yellow on the tail is very good for these conditions. That's for sure. See him. Yep, yep, yep. Right against the bank. Yeah. Three or four of them. We've got one of them, guys. Got one of these buggers. Three, two, one. Up. Up and away she goes, yes! Woo! Number three, guys. I was asking for one more. This might be it for me, but we got the third. Got the third and check that crazy, crazy hook up. I think that's because of the way I struck it. <laughs> through the through the front of the eye and the top of the nose. Not even anywhere near the mouth. Oh, I'm content with this really little brim, guys. If this is gonna be the best fish for today, well, that's... That's going to be my best fish for today. Woo! Alright, there we go. Pop that little treble out off the Eco Gear. Eco Gear blade. Throw your back, buddy. See ya. And yeah, this is nowhere near prime condition. That sun is right up ahead. Bit of a, a bit of a tree overhang there. Always nice to cast around it. Let's see if there's anything. Usually I pick up a few on plastics like this. Throw on blades because plastics doesn't seem to be effective. Oh yeah! Oh, oh dropped it! No! Oh, we just dropped the brim, guys. It just nailed me. Loaded up, but it came free. No, you're kidding me. So what do you guys think? Did you feel like you went for a big walk around the place? Because I certainly did. Um, only little ones today. Originally I was going to fish outside in the bay, but it looked like it was going to be a really tough day out there. Didn't get any hits, so I thought, you know what, we'll try inside, try the canal a little bit. Thanks to Eric for suggesting this idea to try blading in the canal. Um, we're able to get some fish that way, so... Hey, that's a good day out. Whew. But you know what guys, I think what I'll do is, I'm going to come back tomorrow fish some more canals and see whether we can um, get a few more fish for you guys for this week's video. So the search continues. Here. There we go. Oh, I pulled it. It's not my day, guys. Solid fish, too. Solid. Solid. Oh, solid just under there. Oh, missed opportunity. Just flicked it out to my left. That wind is howling. Felt that, felt that hit and I just struck once and true. And I don't know what happened. It came off. We just started getting a stalemate there because it was a decent one. Now we're back to square one. <sighs> All right, so I'm using a two inch grub. This is the midnight oil one. It's got that gold glitter. Well, silver glitter from what I can see. Gold, gold, yeah, gold and silver. Yeah, that's right. Smaller profile, struggling, trying to get that bite. There we go. Oh. Yes! Loaded! Loaded! 
It's right here. Oh, flatty. Saw it, but sawed me off. Sawed me off. Oh, no. <laughs> flatty. 1-0, huh? Been looking for these guys all day. There's that chafing. I can feel it. It's all rough. It definitely took it down deep, that small plastic. Normally, I don't get sawn off, as you see. I use that two and a half inch. This two inch went right down its gob. Well, well, well. What are my jiggeds? Rigging up my plastic after that flatty sawed me off. This wind is so stiff. There we go. Yes, hook up. Hook up. Right. We're back in business, guys. Back in business. Lost my blade. Lost my blade, so um, we went to plastics. I had another blade, but didn't seem to... I had another blade that I tried, a TT Ghost Blade. But yeah, but that wind, because it's so light, it, was, it wasn't tracking properly to my liking. So I went straight to a tiny plastic. Z-Man, right there. It's a hard grind. <laughs> but I want to get that. Boop. I'm happy about that, guys. See you later, little guy. Off you go. Well, that's a wrap from me. Up and down, up and down the canal. Back up, back down. Whew, felt like we did a lot of exercise. I certainly got a lot of exercise going up and down it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my session done on the canal. Thanks again to Eric for suggesting to try blades in the canal. It was a lot of fun. We caught some fish. Ended up losing the blade at the end of the day, but hey, that's fishing. Um, switch back to plastics got one more fish I think some of the better fish we ended up dropping or pulling hooks on so we're gonna have to come back here at some stage and, uh, and, and see what's up but again guys thanks for all your support as always and I'll catch you in the next video